welcome back. Now I'm going to describe to you one of the simplest possible machine learning methods you could ever think of, and that is the k nearest neighbors method. The idea is very simple, right? The label or classification that you should give to an object should be the same as those of other similar objects, right? So in fact, a lot of machine learning is based around that simple idea. It's just that they implement it in different ways. And in this particular case, the way we're going to implement it is we're going to plot each of those individual objects in a space, and then we're going to calculate the distance to the nearest neighbors in that space, right? Now, of course, the crux of the matter is that how do you calculate that distance, right? So if you have, um, you know, variables that are all of roughly the same distribution, like if you think back to the attributes data set that we looked at, they're all roughly distributed in the same way. It's very easy to calculate distance, right? Because you could use something like Euclidean distance, right? But what if you have some variables that are categorical variables? and some variables that are real valued, and some variables that are plain old just binary variables, right? Then how do you calculate distances in that space? And that's where uh, kind of the rub comes in, the, the difficulty of using this method comes in. But once you've calculated that similarity, so I know that this particular individual is in this location in this space, I don't know what their class is, but I know the class of say five individuals near them, right? Then I can take a majority vote of those five individuals near them and use that to determine the class of my unknown individual. So let's take a concrete example, right? In this particular case, I'm using the all state data set, right? And let's imagine that the triangles in this case are people who have opted in for a certain coverage level and the circles are people who decide not to opt in. And I plot all the individuals on a graph and I'm plotting it on a graph of the duration of their last policy and their age, right? Um, and as you can see, there's some correlation here, right? Well, there's a lot of individuals down here, which uh, in the zero to 500 duration range, but that means that you know, many individuals don't have um, very uh, long po previous policies, right? Uh, but you know, there are some individuals out here who have longer policies, and there doesn't seem to really be a correlation between age and duration, which you can see here right away. Um, and there may not, this may not be the best classifier either because it doesn't clearly show that the triangles and circles are different than each other. In the best possible world, if you're going to use K nearest neighbors, you would like to see that the triangles and circles, when you plot them, uh, based upon the features that you're looking at, are very distinct from each other. And we don't see that here, right? So if we're trying to discover, say we don't know what class this triangle in the middle of the screen is, right? Who has a duration around 50, 1600 maybe, and an age of around 58, right? Um, if we were to use K nearest neighbors, right? The first nearest neighbor is actually a circle, right? So under that policy, we would probably classify this individual if they were unknown as a circle, right? And that would be incorrect as we know. And in fact, if we were to draw a wider um, three nearest neighbors, right? We'd still see two circles and one triangle, so we would still classify this unknown individual as a circle. So in this particular space, at least, this this policy doesn't work very well. The k nearest neighbors doesn't work very well. Now, if we had chosen, if we were classifying someone out here where there's almost all triangles, right? K nearest neighbors is going to work well, right? Or if we were classify a say a circle, right? That's right in the middle of a group of circles. I'm trying to find a good example, like over here near the 70, age 70, sorry, age 70, duration of around 100, right? Um, that would actually work pretty well too, right? Um, so, and, and again, it depends upon what the unknown user coming in is, but this is a simple way. It doesn't necessarily always work that well, but if you can plot, if you plot your data and you see that it's naturally separating into the different classes, then k nearest neighbors is gonna work very well for that approach.